Well, hey there, everybody. Josh Klug here with another back-end development frameworks, uh, Full Sail University online tutorial thing. Today we're talking about uh, the CRUD assignment. Um, as we've been talking about in the past, uh, my assignment for this particular class has been a roller coaster database. So as we can see right now, here's my landing page. And the first thing, and just like before, we can view the information about the coasters, the type, the height, the speed, the length. Let's go ahead and go back. And you can choose each one. Again, just like in the past, it makes the ID based off of the coaster ID, so every page is unique. And of course, this code, this page is dynamically generated via PHP. So, uh, what's new with this one is the CRUD portion of that, which allows us to create and update and delete uh, records from the database. Now, before we can do that, though, we do have to log in because we just don't want anybody updating our database, only the administrators. So let's go ahead and log in. And just like before, we can log in with our regular credentials. Uh, first, initial, last name. And then, of course, for the for demonstration purposes, our password will be password. And success, we have now logged in. So we can go ahead and view the coasters. And if you noticed, the header here has now dynamically updated to home, view coasters, and add coasters. Add coasters was not there before. Well, let's go ahead and go back to view coasters. And this looks familiar. Now you can see our header here is checking to see if there's a session uh, in play. And if there is a session in play, it's going to load the add coaster function. So let's go ahead and, and check out Colossus. Well, here we go. We know it's a wooden coaster and, and all this other stuff. But if you notice here on the bottom, we see that we can either edit or delete this coaster or go back. Well, let's go ahead and add a new coaster here just for demonstration. So now we got the insert coaster or add coaster uh, information here. Let's go ahead and slide this to the side. And as you can see, I conveniently have the Wikipedia page open for the Leviathan roller coaster. Let's go ahead and get the information put in there. All right, there we go. Now we can go ahead and click Add. Successfully inserted. So we've successfully inserted. Now if we go back to View Coasters, you see there's Leviathan. Brand new, entered in. You check the information. There it is. Works great. Let's go ahead and look up another roller coaster, shall we? All right, so now we're going to look at the Mean Streak, which is uh, a great wooden coaster in Cedar Point in Sandusky, Ohio. Let's go ahead and add that coaster in there. Now let's say, let's enter in the name, and it is the uh, Mean Street. And let's say, for instance, we didn't want to put in the coaster type. Maybe we didn't know. But we could put in the rest of the stuff. 161 feet tall. Goes a speed of 65 miles an hour. And it was at one time one of the longest coasters in the world at 5,427 feet. Let's go ahead and add that in. Oh, sorry, we can't do that. We have to know what type of coaster it is. So I have some error control in here, and it requires you to type in a name and a type. Now, the height, the speed, and the length can all be left out as long as you have the name and the type. So let's go ahead and add in the type. And add it in. Successfully inserted. Let's go back to view coasters. And there's the mean streak. Now let's say, for instance, after this was in here and someone was browsing the database, they realized, well, wait, the speed of that coaster isn't really 65 miles an hour. It was 62. Well, they could send the admin a, a, a thing, a uh, email. We can go ahead and edit this and change it to 62. Let's go ahead and edit that. It's been updated. Success. Let's go back to view the coaster. We look at Mean Street. It now says 62 miles an hour. Great, now we know the code works, but how does it work? Let's pop open our code editor here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start with the add coaster. Uh, we can see here that we're gonna, of course, require the database PHP and the auth view PHP because uh, those the database PHP uh, has the information about logging into our database and the auth view has the information, has everything for that. 
we're going to start our session, create a new auth view model, and then show the header. Uh, load the, the, create an array with the fields of the information we're going to be entering in. Now here's where we're going to check and see if what's going on, if there's a session already going on, uh, and then go ahead to do with the array. Now for each of the fields we want, we have to check and see if the field was posted, and if so, uh, trim it so we can use it, otherwise it's null. So that way it'll take any, it'll, it'll trim it down to the sizes that we had already specified. This here is going to check for the coaster name and coaster type, make sure there's something in both of those, and if not, it's just going to go ahead and throw you an error. Uh, if everything goes good, we're going to go ahead and display this message, and uh, if not, it's going to show that there's an error. And then here's the actual form in HTML that does what it needs to do. Now deleting is very similar as well. We start the session, uh, include the, these here just like normal, and then we just go through and pretty much do the same thing, uh, except we remove that record. Now you'll notice here I, I included coaster info and you may wonder why. Well, with the session start here, the way we have our logging, our header working and our logging in working is we're checking for a session to run. So by having the session running once you're logged in, uh, it's easier to detect what's going on so that way we can dynamically change the header with the links to update or edit so not just anybody can do it. Uh, we did add these, this array into the database so that way we have uh, the information we need. Again, session start right here. And then of course ending our session. Uh, here's the updating information and uh, it takes, the, it takes uh, the fields that have been already selected and uh, allows you to update the information in the database. And of course, now here's our header. Uh, this is where some magic happens here. I stashed all the CSS in the header because the header is loaded on every page. So that way we can update the header once, update the CSS, and it will go globally across the whole site. Uh, we can see here, we do have some PHP in here, and this right here is where it checks to see if there's a session started. Because if there is no session started, the it, it knows you're not logged in. And so therefore it won't display the add, update, or delete information if you're not logged in. All right, so anyway, guys, that's pretty much uh, pretty much the way my pretty much the way this project works at this point. Uh, you can go here and you can check out all the coaster information. After you log in, you can go through and you can edit, remove, delete uh, anything that's already in the database. So I hope uh, this was very informative to you, and uh, thank you very much.